As we try to learn more about Anna Walsh, her husband, and their relationship, WBZ's Louisa Muller speaks exclusively with a longtime friend of Brian Walsh's father. She's live in Swampscott with that story tonight. Louisa? Well, David, we know that Brian Walsh is close with his mother, who lives here in Swampscott, but this friend told us he used to be very close with his father. What happened was a falling out over money and the allegation that Brian destroyed his father's will. Now, this friend asked to remain anonymous. I was probably as close to the inner dynamics of that family as anyone. This man says he first met Brian Walsh when he was six years old. A close friend of his father's, Thomas Walsh, he describes Brian as well-behaved and entitled. Brian was not like other young people. He was always dressed in our money and penny loafers. When he was like 13, I never saw him in dungarees. He just wanted the finest things in life. Brian is now behind bars, accused of misleading the investigation into the disappearance of his wife, Anna. And this friend says Brian's manipulative behavior started with a falling out with his father over money. He says the two did not speak for over a decade. This is a kid who never gave his father an ounce of like, teenage angst. He didn't smoke, he didn't drink, he didn't do drugs. He was very close and he was very respectful to his father. He was charming and when he did this, it, it, it like stabbed his dad in the heart. Brian's father, the former head of neurology at Brigham and Women's Hospital, died in 2018. According to court documents, Thomas Walsh cut his son out of the will. Then Brian is accused of destroying the will, appointing himself the personal representative of the estate, and liquidating over $100,000 from bank accounts in the name of Thomas Walsh. There was indeed a will, and there were specified inher inheritors, and Brian was not one of them. In 2021, Brian was convicted of fraud for stealing a friend's Andy Warhol paintings and selling them, as well as fake versions of them. Despite this history, this man says he is still perplexed by Anna Walsh's disappearance. He was not trustworthy. He did things that were shameful and horrible to someone he really cared about, but I never saw him raise his voice. Now coming up at six, we dig even deeper into the story. The friend and another family member accused Brian of stealing over a million dollars from his father years ago and then trying to sell his house after he died. Live in Swampscott, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa, thank you.